All right, so in this video, we're going to cover the basics of acid-base chemistry. This is important in MedChem moving forward. And this video is just the bare minimum of what you would need to know moving forward with regards to acid-base chemistry. So this is a review of a topic from organic chemistry. So in this video, we're going to go over first thing, uh, what is an acid? Next, we're going to go over what is a base? And then lastly, we're going to go over uh, how to look at pH and pKa, how we can compare these two uh, when we're looking at an acid and a base to determine percent ionization. So we're going to look at pH and we're going to compare it to pKa or look at pKa and compare it to pH. And we're going to see, uh, for example, if you are considering an acid with a specific pKa at a certain pH, is this acid going to be primarily in its ionized form, also abbreviated as I, or is it going to be at its unionized form, also abbreviated as U. So we're going to go over what is an acid, what is a base, and we're going to compare pH to pKa in order to determine if our acid is primarily ionized or unionized, or same thing, if our base is primarily ionized or unionized. And so that's where you're going to see moving forward these abbreviations. Uh, UA, which stands for unionized acid, and then UB, which stands for unionized base, and then as you can imagine, IA stands for ionized acid, and IB stands for ionized base. So this is unionized. So this is unionized acid. And this is going to be unionized base. And then if I put IA or IB, then it's going to be ionized acid and ionized base. All right, so let's start with the first topic, which is what is an acid? So an acid is a proton donor. So just to go ahead and put that there, an acid okay, is a proton donor, whereas a base is a proton acceptor. So we can start off by looking at an acid. And my favorite example of an acid, or a classic example of an acid, is a carboxylic acid. So going back to OCHEM, a carboxylic acid has this functional group, this, or it is a functional group. So we have a carbonyl on this carbon directly attached to a hydroxyl. So overall, this is a carboxylic acid regardless of what side chain you have here. Uh, the pKa of a carboxylic acid is 1 to 5. And then we can have a base which I'll just write B minus as my arbitrary base with a lone pair here. And so this base is going to do what bases do, which is accept protons. So this base is going to grab this proton, and the, that bond right there between the oxygen and the hydrogen is going to break, uh, adding an extra lone pair onto this oxygen. And so the curved arrow mechanism doesn't matter too much. It's just make sure you understand the overall concept of an acid and a base. And so here we see that we have an O minus, 
Why? Because the bond broke uh, right here where the base picked up a proton. So it's very clear that this carboxylic acid on the left in red was able to donate its proton and give it to this base. So if I redraw what happened to the base, I see now, now the base has this proton on it and it lost its negative charge. So let's start labeling things. Uh, we call this an unionized acid. It's unionized because it has no charge. And then we call this right here. First of all, it's a base, right? Because remember back to Ochem, you have conjugate acid-base pairs, right? So this acid on the left lost a proton, then it became its conjugate base. We see that negative charge, which is yet another hint that it's a base. And it's clearly ionized because it's charged. And we see that negative charge right there. So unionized acid goes to ionized base. How do you determine if it's ionized? Well, if it has a charge, it's ionized. If it does not have a charge, it is unionized. How do you determine if it's an acid or base? Well, if it's a proton donor, it's an acid. If it's a proton acceptor, it's a base. And so you will have a list of acids and bases and functional groups to be able to recognize and determine and identify as acids versus bases. So now would be a good time to pause this video and review the acids and bases you were given in class and try to determine why is this an acid and why is this a base. All right, so let's move on to what is a base. Well, a base is a proton acceptor. So when I think base, I think high electron density, right? So a base won't be positive, but it can be neutral, right? Or it can be negative can be negatively charged, right? However, if a neutral base gains a proton, then that conjugate acid is going to be positively charged, right? So that's something we'll revisit later. So let's look at a base. So a base could be something like NH3. We see a lone pair right there. And that lone pair is my hint that this has high electron density. It's on a nitrogen, which we know from OCHEM is basic. And so overall, I know confidently that this is a base and it doesn't have a charge on it. So it's an unionized base rather than an unionized acid. In the previous example, we are now working with an ionized base. So if I look at this ionized base, and now I add an acid into the mix. So here's my arbitrary acid. Well now I can imagine that the lone pair on this base is going to grab a proton from the acid and this bond is going to break putting those electrons onto that onto this A, right? And so it's going to generate a conjugate base. So let's see what happens to this UB. The UB to begin with was NH3. Now that it gained a proton, it became NH4 plus, right? So clearly this is ionized. So I'm gonna go ahead and label this as an ionized something. Now, it's definitely an acid. Well, for two reasons. One is we started with an unionized base. So if a base accepts a proton, then it's going to become an acid, right? Or another way of looking at it is that it has a lot of protons. And we know that acids are proton donors, right? And so we went from a UB to an IA. And you might be wondering what happened to the rest of this. Well, if the HA on the left-hand side of the reaction lost a proton, that, and that means on the right-hand side, we're going to get that lone pair on the A from the broken bond, and we're going to get a minus, right? So again, don't worry too much about the curved arrows. Just make sure you understand UB, IA, UA, IB. And so if you notice, we go from acid to base, 
or base to acid. And we also go from unionized to ionized, or this is a reversible reaction, so we can go from ionized to unionized. Okay. So this is the absolute basic concept of what is an acid, what is a base, and the definitions of each. And uh, in the next couple videos, we're going to go ahead and visit the concept of pH versus pKa. And so this concept right here, pH versus pKa, will be visited in the next video, video number two, uh, where we will go over uh, four functional groups and their pKa's. And then we're going to go over how to determine if something is acidic or basic.